looks like black. Uh, I do like black. Just got back from Spider-Man. Oh, baby. It's going to be a fun discussion. All right. Let's play one more uh, constructed event. This is with a deck that I have been working on. This is just a Grixis. It's a... Uh, just kind of a Grixis mid-range deck. But it has been pretty sweet. It's just all... It's really just all over the place. <coughs> it generally wins... Generally wins with Bolas. Um, but can also win with... Uh, Dreadhorde Invasion plus... Enter the God of Charles. We have a... a brute uh, Bright Spirit Retaliate. And we also have Chandra to get back um, all of this stuff on the bottom here. Disfigure, Rampage, Thought Erasure, the Devil Cry. So, I've really, really enjoyed playing this deck quite a bit. So, that's Cup we rocking. Oh, baby. It's got the the Grandmaster. You know, in my, in my own house, I get to have... Have regular size cups. No Chandra. We got the Acolyte. Tiny cup, Justin is the most powerful cup. Is the most powerful, Justin. That could be true. That is difficult to argue. I'll say that because. Uh, you know, Tidy Cup Justin has a lot of W's on Commander Versus. And since 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 we stopped going out to eat before we started filming, I've not had as many W's. So I mean you're just right. You're just you're just right. Six mana Chandra? No, it's it's really not necessary. Um, it's like six mana Chandra is inevitability, but we often win with this deck with our opponents conceding because they realize they cannot beat Bolas. Chandra is just not not as good. Honestly. I think that guard is a little overrated. Yeah, you know, I hate saying, but I think it, I think it is. You all film Commander versus after hours or during the work day? Oh, we film it after hours. After we finish working an eight-hour day of work, is when we when we film Commander Versus. So long day, and then I film uh, record, think twice, same day. So, all right. While our opponent, okay, they're back. So while our opponent's thinking, Johnny's welcome. Now, if they play a turn two, uh, Pride Mage. Pride mate. We could be in trouble. Appreciate the long days. Yeah, we do it for you guys. You know, we, we, we enjoy doing it. We usually have fun doing it. I think most people can tell the days that we don't. Alright, we got a lot of black sources in the deck. Don't have any in their hand. So we have a Narset that can draw us one card that won't be a black source. Okay. So opponent probably playing with some starter oriented cards. Okay, let's get this rampage, I guess. Now we could just not draw black and just be dead. Any day you're getting milled? Not that I know of. Okay, you cast enchantment, draw a card. Okay, so they got some enchantments going. Yep, Narset bites the dust. Look at that swamp. There we go. Play Dreadhorde Invasion. 
even though it's very, very bad against <laughs> Territorial Hammer Skull. But um, maybe we can set up a Massacre Girl and just wipe, wipe our opponent's board. All right, well, we're gonna do all Massacre Girl. Finally gave her an animation, which is much appreciated. Bottoming four non-lands? Yeah, that is true. Well, yeah, three. Other than the one that we got. Yeah, we definitely needed those swamps. I mean, we were... We were, we were going to be dead otherwise. <coughs> we really had no shot. Dreadhorde Invasion, I will say, is significantly better than I was... Than I ever gave it credit for. I was like, this is just not Bitter Blossom. And it's not. It's not Bitter Blossom. But Bitter Blossom's really good. And it doesn't have to be Bitter Blossom. You know what card's not... Not like another card? Shock. It's not Lightning Bolt. Shock is still really good. Is it still in the Yenny deck? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's in the Yenny deck. Hopefully they take Masker Girl. Excellent. Let me draw another Black Source, please. Drawn from Dreams? That'll get me a Black Source. Alright. Um, so... Let's get Temple of Epiphany to play this turn and Drowned Catacomb to play next turn. I can scry. We'll put that on the bottom. Great. Oh yeah, Dreadhorde Invasion is uh, still in the Henny deck. Widespread plus Dreadhorde is clutch. Yes, Widespread Brutal is a pretty sweet card. It is a great budget option. I mean, it's a good card. Like, oftentimes you just want, like, if you can sacrifice the 1-1 one, one that you make every turn. Oh, man. Oh, that's really a shame. We're going to be able to gain 6. Gain, like, 10 this turn. I guess we'll just, just play Bolas instead. What do you think about the suspensions? From the cat bug? Yeah, it is really weird because, like, I feel like people are just, like, it does something cool when you click on it. So you click on it, like, ten times because you're like, oh, man, I just got this mastery pass. Like, I'm... <laughs> the craziest thing is it's like you are punishing people that spent money to get the thing that you designed for them. Like... <laughs> okay. I, a ter I think it's a terrible business decision. Not even, Not even from a... Like, you know, I don't even know the word I'm looking for. Not even, not even from like a playing, like a uh, a point of view of of trying to have like in match integrity. That is irrelevant. But it makes no sense for you to sell someone a product and then you make it really awesome to click and then you ban people for clicking it too much. Okay. My brother's twelve year old is having fun in arena. Playing against Blight Beetle against a Dreadhorde Invasion deck. He's gonna go he was going nuts about the interaction. Oh, that's great. That's fantastic. Alright. Well, I think we're gonna lock this one up here. No. <laughs> you have no weakness. 
weakness I cannot exploit. Oh, it's a little, little weird there. Won't lie, I'm a pretty great pyromancer. Say hi to my fiery friends. Alright. Look who it is. Our friend's Dreadhorde invasion. Alright. I'm gonna gain 10 life next turn. So, um, if our opponent plays a creature, so this is gonna go to 2, um, we can kill the creature or deal it damage, whatever. If they don't, we can just deal this damage, and it takes 4 but it gets bigger. So as long as this is a 1-1, one, one, it's not going to die because this all happens at the same time. That's great. That's also that's so great. That's when I was, I was I was 12 and I started playing Magic. I mean, it's 20 years ago, but here here I am 20 years later still playing. So yeah, uh you know, keep encouraging him to play. Keep stop people from being assholes. That's the biggest reason people stop. It's not because they lose. People lose all the time. When I first started playing Magic, I lost for like two straight years, but I just wanted to get better. And if you have that mentality, and he, if he's twelve and he has that mentality, then he can, uh, you know, hopefully find a game that he really loves. Yeah, I'm just ignoring the opponent. I'll just chat chat with everybody here for a while. So. Um, yeah, pay to be banned on the cat. Not great. Can someone explain the cat bug? Yes. So, um, if you don't mute your opponent and they have the cat, they can keep clicking it to change the color of it and slow down the frame rate to a significant amount to where it, like, lags you out. All right. So, target this. Are we sure? Yes. Target ourselves. Uh, plus hey, these little guys are great. Attack, trigger, gain life. I have just the trick for this. Drawn from dreams, sure, why not? Let's go looking for some dreams. Let's get this bolus and this this thing, and we'll Plus here. All right. Let's see. Uh, yeah. So if you constantly spam the cat, it's it'll stop the opponent from playing. You had to pay for the cat, which is true. I doubt people were exploiting it. Yeah. I, I'd say a small number of people. I think most people are just clicking the cat because it looks cool when you click it. Like, it, honestly, it's pretty simple that that's the case. So, uh, same thing happened at GP Denver last year with Relic Tokens. Got a friend, a match loss for checking him out while his opponent was taking a turn and my buddy was tapped out. I don't really under understand that one. You had to explain that one. It still isn't over the Oath of Druids, asshole. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'll never be over it because uh, that's like you know I could what what if I what if I what if after that day I decide to quit Magic? Like my life is entirely different and worse in my opinion. I'm very happy with where I am. I've played this game for 20 years. It's like a huge part of my life and my job. And you take that away from me? Nah. Yeah, opponent salty. Um... It's fine. We'll be okay. I was 16 when I started. Traded my uh, uh, <coughs> Majai Jin for my friend's mountains. Couldn't even cast it. Yeah, it costs red, red, red for a 6-3. I do know that card. I played against that card when I was when I was little too. I'm new at Twitch. How do you rescind Twitch friend request? Meant to follow Justin and send a request and said, don't want to be weird. It's okay. I don't even I don't even look at friend requests. Uh, I don't know how you rescind it. Don't worry about it. You can just hit that follow button. It's always much appreciated. 
I knew there was an issue with the dang cat. <laughs> Seemed like the client was running slow after the update. Yeah, it probably was the cat. Like, that probably was the reason for it. Would have been fine if it was a pupper. That's just true. I mean, it's true. We just know that's true. All right, after much deliberation from our opponent, um, they have decided to give up. What block did you start with? Uh, the Urza Saga block. I started at 6th edition, which came out in between Urza's Legacy and Urza's Destiny. Urza's Legacy is the second set of the block. Urza's Destiny is the third set. Started college at EDH, got thrown in the magic deep end. Uh, friend showed me Commander versus two months after I started. There you go. It's the perfect crime. Cut my teeth on fifth edition, been hooked since. Yes, that's just uh, about a couple years before before I started playing. A judge gave him a loss for stalling. Jeez. All right, we can probably, <coughs> hmm, we can bedevil this, so let's, uh, let's thought erasure before anything too scary happens. All right, well, I think we're going to bottom this, actually, or bend, put this in the bin. All right, so if they don't gain any life, we'll just play our Mu Yan Ling. Oh, <laughs> they did! They did gain life with their land. Still gonna play Mu. Oh, Mu! I'd like to stay out of this, but I'll fight if I must. Okay. So they're gonna attack Mu for one, or maybe two if they gain life. Elsewhere. All right, so let's rampage. Uh, we'll get them to sacrifice their creature. Plus, submit zero. The sky is and then we'll play the Dread Horde Invasion. I was the Yugo boy in my playgroup. Okay. Imara. Alright, we can disfigure that. We will. Uh, we'll play this just in case we need to kill something. And we'll make a bird. Bird elemental. And it will offer us. What is the story of the, the Oath of Druid's asshole, if you don't mind? It, it's, oh, it's not a long story, but, um, that's good. That's a good card. Let me get this, let me resolve this drawn from dreams, and maybe I'll get into it for a second. Um, well, let's take Thought Erasure and Bolus. Take two, Thought Erasure. Okay. Life Chanter. Have uh, your life will become the toughness of creatures you control. That doesn't seem very good. And this says you draw cards whenever you play little creatures. This seems much better. So we'll get this. We will bend the widespread brutality. I don't think we're going to need that one. All right. So I've told the story on the podcast, um, but I mean it's basic, you know, in a lot more detail. Uh, a bear to stay. an older guy got upset when I played a creature in an oath of druids because I didn't know anything. So 
They're gonna, they gotta get rid of a land, the card in their hand. So, I've told this story on the podcast, on our hundredth episode, actually. Um, for those of you that are interested in, in hearing about such things. Alright, plus... That's a good one. Conceivable! My intellect is without limit. Alright, so... Let's go attacking here. Hey, these little guys are great! And next turn, we can plus this to get Bolas bigger. And then the, the following turn, we can make Bolas... I actually could have done it this turn, put him to 7, that turn, put him to 8, and then 1 next turn. So we actually could have won next turn, but we didn't do that. Should have. Should have done it, though. Yeah, episode 100. It's a good episode. It is uh, one of my favorite episodes, actually. You see the drama on Twitter involving a tournament with... I, I think she made some, some mistake... Cast a spell she couldn't cast, or something. I don't really know the specifics. But, um, as someone that's met Aaron, I don't... I don't, I don't really put any, uh... I'm not putting a lot of stock into that. So I don't know the specifics, but... I'm... I, I believe she's cast spells she could not cast that benefit her. Get out of here. Be gone forever. My prowess, hone your prowess. Oh, uh, let's get a bowl lasty. I played from Ice Age to Mirage and stopped playing, and Arena brought me back. That's awesome. Yeah, Magic has changed a lot since then. Um, I think it's overall a better game, but I don't think everything's better. I, I don't think... I think Planeswalkers are probably a net negative for Magic for, from a gameplay perspective, but a huge positive for everything else. Sacrifice a creature... Keep an open mind. We'll get Chandra. It was tapped. Pass the turn. So we cannot play Bolas next turn. We lack a third black, but we'll, we'll find it. Feather. Okay. So... Like a giant growth feather? I think I'd rather just play Chandra, flashback the rampage. Chandra, you need more control. Just let me burn. Creature, you can suck yourself. Come on, Chandra, remember that spell. When it can't handle it, they can't handle the value. Can't handle it. Bowles would be the second smartest dragon if he would use Comcast. <laughs> Wouldn't be the second smartest dragon. Justin is the only MT2 stream I'll watch. Wow. Feel very special. Very, very special. Alright. Leaning on this thought erasure. As we do. We're gonna keep doing it. Really hoping they would take a two-year break from Planeswalkers. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, two year break, you say. Like the opposite. Like planeswalkers. This is actually tough, because I think if they're playing red, we want to have this disfigure up. But we don't want to take any damage on we'll the swamp. We'll just play the swamp. They can shock us now. 
We'll kill whatever they play. That's fine. We'll kill you. All right. We will play this tapped and then potentially do the same thing next turn. If they if they play a chain whirler, that's whatever. We just want to thought a razor their Chandra or um, experiment frenzy. Yeah, I think a lot of people. I think a lot of people ultimately did not enjoy War of the Spark. Which is weird, because I think that they thought that was just like the... Like, <laughs> like in theory, like it sounds really good, right? But... Oh boy. It is not. It was really unfun for a lot of people. Okay, so they're going to go shock, light up the stage next turn. Ultimately, they're, they're going to have this, which is a problem, but I'd rather just stop them for the intermediate. We need a Planeswalker. We need a Bolas. Actually, I like the new Planeswalkers. They're mostly good additions. Yeah, mostly. That's true. It's The thing is... You, it's difficult to make 37 and not miss on a, a, a couple. We're talking 10% and missed on 10%. Ask and you shall receive. That's how Bolas works. Now we're going to start fire, firing burn spells off. Yeah. Get them at me. Get them on at me. Get Chain Whirler. Play Blood Crypt. If we can play Balls before they play their Frenzy. Nope. Alright. Okay. Well. The immortal Nicole Bolas will be your end. Discard, get cards out of their hand. Let your weak minds come. We might, we might be able to. We might still be able to battle it, honestly. Like if they fill their board up with creatures, we can just brutality. Okay. All right. So we're gonna go to eight, which is not great. Well, they go to kill Bolas. A feeble effort. It was a feeble effort because you did not succeed. I have other schemes to attend to. All right, so you eons ago. let's thought erasure. Let's get whatever they got left. Keep that. Watchbird brutality. Get all these. If they get this bolus, we have this bolus, and we can flip it the following turn. Steam can off the top. Okay. All right. Here and here. All right. Now, if we draw a. Dreadhorde Invasion! Oh my god, we actually drew it. Alright, well, this game's easy. It's super easy. All you gotta do is just draw Dreadhorde Invasion. When you have when you have a six power uh, zombie that you can attack with. It's not a big deal, everyone. You just draw it when you need it. I don't know why everything, everyone thinks that Mono Red's so hard. It's like super, it's like the easiest thing in the world. Super duper easy. Yeah, it's all skill. 
That almost hurt. Mono skill. Ingress Rampage, that's a good one. <coughs> I have other plans. Witness a moat of my power. I guess we should have played this bolus first. So then I gotta get rid of a, a land. Let's see. Alright, let me catch up. Insolent fool. Another frenzy. Oof. Oh, they can't kill this because they would have killed this. So we get to attack first. have been foiled. My intellect is without limit. Alright. Double bolus. Double bolus time. Boundless power. Alright, let's just draw two. I always have an answer. And pass the turn. Let's see, we can reanimate Kefnet. Alright, let's thought erasure our opponent. Wizard's Lightning. Yeah, we will keep Chandra. So we can draw two. I am omnipotent. We can Not to brag, but I'm totally the best put a loyalty counter on all of our red planeswalkers, which is like all of them. And then we can plus two, draw two more, and then end in the game next turn. Yep. I'm not gonna attack. No need for that. So put exile all but the bottom card of target player's library. That's nice. Oh. Uh, decline. You can just draw some cards. Resolve. Decline. Yep. Okay, let's uh, put loyalty counters. Study, focus. Let's draw two cards. I know all there is to know. Let's draw two cards. I know what all right, so we got 21 left. We're still doing good. Drawn from dreams. Enter the God Eternals and another Drawn from Dreams. Enter the God Eternals here. We'll just mill them. We don't accidentally accidentally mill ourselves. Good game. 
Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I don't see what the big deal is. I don't know why Ollie has a problem with it. Easy peasy. All right. I did, now I can get back to chat. What's up, chat? Well, you and Ollie make decks. Uh, make decks work without multiple copies of certain cards. Well, we like to play different cards. That's kind of the fun of magic, right? <coughs> Curtis, what's up? This is a good hand. Yeah, this deck is great. This has been my favorite deck since War of the Spark came out. It's just Grixis, and you just have so many... God, you just have so many different tools. As long as you have Bolas, you, you can uh, build the tools around that. So I opened like three boluses, I crafted one, and then I've drafted this card four more times. So I literally have had like eight copies of Nickel Bolas. Um, let's play this, see if we can get a block in. So I can pick up something different with Ingress Rampage. Got into some Chromium shenanigans. Big Skinny, thanks for coming. Good night. <coughs> thanks for watching. Much appreciated. Helps people who, who build but don't have uh, full play sets. Oh, for sure. For sure. So we're not going to take two. Our opponent is looking fairly aggressive. Now, we will take two if we draw like a, uh, you know, like a Cry of the Carnarium. Nope, the devil. Okay. So, we're going to make them sacrifice a creature, which is going to be half of a card. Probably be this goblin token on the far, far right. Bolus all formats. We also love Bolus. Next episode is Randomonium. That is correct. That is correct. I think Angress Spray might be low key MVP from War of the Spark. Oh, it's so good. It's such a great card. It's Hurdy Ouchie. I'd like to block. Thank you. Alright. Um. Play Moo. I assist those humble by the pursuit of knowledge. Crawl your temper. We may be able to manage their creatures. No way they attack. Wow. Okay. All right, um, let's kill this. Let's make an elemental. Stick to the sky, my friend. Attack. What is my plan for the Tobias deck? I got a plan. Don't you worry. Though I am a little worried. I should obviously should not have attacked. Oh my gosh. Should not have attacked. Alright. Learn some respect. Learn some respect. I will spare you. One, two, three. In exchange for eternal servitude. I should attack. I think I just have to kill this. 
No attacks. So, good game. Am I dead? Probably dead. Taking two. Really struggling to block. Block here. Lightning strike. Yep. Good game. Hmm. Probably could have done that one differently. Probably could have done it differently. There's dozens of us, Tobias. It's. I'm, I am going to try to try to put some um, arrest development stuff in. Uh, There's dozens of us. Dozens. <laughs> I, I'm going to try to make it flavorful. I'll just say that. Fanatical firebrand. Old jerk face himself. Alright. Disfigures are good cards, though. I got a plan. I can't tell anyone the plan. Okay, attack with Fanatical Firebrand. Alright. Kill Fanatical Firebrand. Then we're gonna untap and play Steam Vents. Then we're gonna kill this. Alright. Basically, we just gotta live. <coughs> I think I messed up last game. Still thinking about it. Still like fungal infection more than disfigure? Nah. Nah. Disfigure, uh, disfigure kills hero precinct one. I'm gonna stick with disfigure. I think Moo's pretty good. I do like that card. Just, just gained us a lot of life. I can tell you that. Um, let's do this so we can... The Devil. And then if they play another creature, we can untap play into the God Eternals. Otherwise, we'll uh, probably play Masker Girl. The name of the game is take as minimal damage as you possibly can. Great. 12, or excuse me, 14, and then go back to 18. Opponent can't take it. Can't take the heat. They need to get out of the kitchen. Just science. All right, it's almost twelve, but we're gonna finish this run. We're gonna finish this run, so you get you get bonus time. It's like overtime in uh, overtime in a basketball game. Free period. I think Moo is. Hmm. This is a tricky one. This is a tricky one. Um, I think I'm going to mulligan this, actually. Alright, this one's much better. I'll keep this. And we're going to put the Drawn from Dreams on the bottom. Though I do quite like that card. All right. There's our, our old pal. Okay. See if we can learn our lessons from last time. Who do you like from the NBA and the NHL? NHL, NFL. Um, NFL, I'm a Green Bay Packers fan. I have been for 
my whole life. Um, NBA, I'm actually, I do not have a fan of a team. When I was growing up, I liked the Bulls, but that's just because, you know, like, I, I grew up in the 90s, so everybody liked Michael Jordan. I was no different. Uh, but I do not have... Uh, I do not have a... I do not have a uh, team for the NBA. I just I just love basketball. I'm a Duke Blue Devils fan for college basketball since before I was alive. Okay. Thought Erasure. Okay, we have another Cavalcade. I think I'd rather just manage the creatures. Uh, so we'll just get this war boss. You know what? Let's keep this. If they play Cavalcade... Okay, so they're going to play two creatures here. So that means we can just get the other Cavalcade. And then we can uh, Rampage. Alright. Get the cavalcade. We'll actually keep the devil. And then make them sacrifice a creature. We just gotta run them out of just gotta run them out of creatures. If they hit a land drop here, then we gotta kill this. If they don't, we just play Kefnet. All right, let's see what BS you guys are all talking. Um, okay, loves the Seahawks. I hate the Seahawks. I despise the Seahawks. Uh, Grixis Mass is way better than the one I've been messing around with. Yeah, this deck has been this deck has been sweet. Okay, go to ten. Go to nine. All right. Uh, we will not reveal Dragon Skull Summon, as it turns out. What about NHL? I don't really care too much about hockey. I don't dislike hockey. I dislike baseball, but I don't dislike hockey. Um, we need to try to kill our opponent, I think. Before they kill us. Thanks for coming, Curtis. I'm gonna pretend you say you love him. Yeah. I'd respond best nah. To kindness. Lightning strike, sure. From my head. Decline. Come on. Come on. There's so many cards in their hand. How do they have so many? I really wanted that elemental from Mu Yan Ling. Alright. Should have killed the Tin Street Dodger. Clearly. Like I gotta kill it now. That's bad. I can draw a lot of cards and kill it. Bolus is good. See what we can come up with. I 
And a race with this Kefnet. Thought Erasure. I have other schemes to okay. attend to. <laughs> you made it look no like they had another Spitfire in their hand. Like it showed me two Spitfires. Which is a super weird bug, like if they play a Spitfire. Like that and it showed us a Spitfire. Okay, four. Wow. Bizarre. Like, super duper bizarre. Mountain? Alright. Oh boy, we're gonna keep that one. Uh, can we cast it? Blue, blue? We sure can. And a player. That's all fine. Alright. Should do it. Scraped by. <sighs> Dislike hockey has a decent hockey team. Sometimes. Oh, got it. Ha ha ha. Baseball is easy to dislike. It's boring to watch on TV. Only fun. I've been to a lot of baseball games. I just don't like it. It's fine. It's okay to, it's okay to not like a sport. I just don't like baseball. I just don't enjoy it. I love football and basketball. I've been trying to uh, slowly watch, stop watching football though. I just uh, strongly dislike the NFL as a league and I think that they are not great. I'll just say that. I'll keep this. But I love football. I love the Packers, so it's a it's a slow process. I've stopped playing fantasy football as of last year. God, so much of this. So so much. Alright, play Dreadhorde Invasion. Hmm. All right. Let's get Moo down. And I can teach you even more. Uh, we'll get the Steamkin because it can grow. Quell your temper. Let's see if they can cast a bunch of spells. Nope. Second deal, move one. It's not so bad. <laughs> you have the of rocks. All right, uh, minus. Let's cancel first. Get them to sacrifice a creature. We get mega punished if they have Chandra in their hand. Like super de duper de punished. The sky is my I don't think I want to play this other one actually. I think I would rather just make one and block. Because I think we're going to be on blocker duty for a while. So, losing two life to block is not, not going to be great. Now, now, be patient. Okay, there goes Mu. Love to draw and enter the God Eternals. That would be great. Can they keep going? Come on. Oh, baby. 
That is good. That is good stuff. I just drew it. See, you just draw it. Just draw it. Has anyone just thought about just drawing it one time? It's just so much easier if you just draw it. Then you may get a 5-5. Five five. And then next turn it can be a 6-6. Six six. And then you have a bolus. I guess we're going to take Thought Erasure. What you got in there? Nothing? Chandra Flames Fury. Uh, yeah, we'll keep, we'll keep ramp, ramp, Angrass Rampage. We're going to go to 21. Yep, narse it down. <laughs> oh, thinking about it a little bit, are we? Contain okay. your rage. All right, all right. Now, what are we doing here? Because this is not a four damage spell, so. Okay, you're dying. That's an interesting choice. Alright. Well, we're just going to gain more life. Let's make it bigger. <laughs> Such violence is upsetting. Make it a 9-9. Nine, nine. More boluses that we can't play. Double life link. Okay. You gonna trade the whole team? That's cool. I'll accept. All we gotta do is draw a swamp. We're off to the races. Swamp. Of some kind. No. I'm gonna give me one later now. Okay. Angrass Rampage, and now we need a swamp. Need a swamp. Q2 Lava Runner. What are you gonna do? Attack? I was about to say. Thought Erasure. See if we can find a swamp. Narset, you're not a swamp. Oh, I don't want to do that. Do I just attack with a uh, life linking six? Ooh, all right. Got a card now. Wow, that was. Not even gonna try to go for it. They oh, they could have killed this. They totally could have killed it. Okay, if I can kill this, then I can gain six life. Hey. All right. All right. So, and we're only doing this because we have a second bolus, but now bolus dies, but we also gain six. Probably kill one of their creatures. Sure. 
There's the swamp. We found it. Took us a little bit. Frenzy's no joke, though. Yeah. Okay. That's a lot of wizard's lightning. Is that four wizard's lightning in a row? Pretty much is. Okay. All right. Now this bolus is going upstairs. I just want to get as many swamps onto the battlefield as possible. Now you got, now you got four wizards lightning in a row, so you don't just get to just keep drawing gas. Like you're gonna hit. All right. Okay. Well, they're kind of doing it. All right. Gee. Okay. Now they... Okay, so... <laughs> okay. How many cards do they have? 22. Man, you know what's going to be super sweet? When we draw uh, Widespread Brutality. I will Cry the Carnarium. Widespread Brutality is better. That's the one I really want. No, there's that swamp that I was talking about. Alright. This is going to be really impressive if our opponent comes back and wins this game. Yeah, we're going to block. We're at 12. 10. All right, that's a good one. Oh, our deck is tapping so many swamps, though. How about you tap one swamp? So we have, all right. The last one's supposed to be blue. All right. Resolve. Okay, cry and narset. Okay. So first we'll cast cry. Full control, please go away. All right, opponent just didn't deal us one. That's cool. Take it. I know eighty-eight ways to defeat you. Pick one. Put thoughtfulness before. Let's action. select Angrass Rampage. It's it's the it's the client. It's the, it's the arena client that is that is like super duper laggy as well. <laughs> Gotta go to Narset. Goblin Chain Whirler. I was not prepared for this. Alright, go to four. Okay. So we can get back Bedevil. I think we're gonna die to our uh, bitter blossom here. Won't lie. I'm a pretty great pyromancer. Okay. The devil. Cast the devil on Chain Whirler. Remember this one? Sacrifice a creature. Okay. 
Okay. Throw another punch, and you're gonna get burned. Come on. Oh no. Alright, we lost connection. <laughs> Good job, Arena. <laughs> it's the cat. I think our opponent's gonna I think our opponent our opponent won that one, which is very impressive. Yeah, just it's just like, nah, don't worry about it, you're dead. <laughs> Didn't even it's like here. Disconnected us. Out of pity. Alright, this is the last game. See if we can hit seven on this one. The old pity disconnect. We couldn't get back into the God Eternals, unfortunately. It's uh It's gotta be three or less with Chandra. It's not quite Snapcaster Mage. Uh, we'll keep this, even though we have tap lands. A little risky. Don't play a mountain. I don't know if island makes me feel better. So we'll find out. We needed to get that a mass card. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, got the little storm tacher. Do we have a instant speed friend? Sure do. We sure do. Okay, no curious obsession. That's nice. Tempest gen. Okay, well, we should kill that. I believe. Get on out of here, Tempest Jen. Tempest Jennifer. Enjoy the stream. Thanks for coming. Much appreciated. Ah, there it is. See what the koi fish have to tell us. I think we want a cry and an angrath's rampage. We just gotta get cheap spells because expensive spells will not resolve. Mage won't. Okay. Cry looking like it could be good if it resolves. Okay. If we can get Cry to resolve here, man, that would be really spectacular. Good game. Okay, they got two counter spells in their hand, I assume. There's one. Is that their hand just two wizard retorts? <laughs> All right. It is. They were right. Good game. Oh, man. Well, we did not get to seven on this one. Take our six wins against our, our ridiculous loss against uh, Mono Red. Ooh, Cavalier Gales. That's nice. And a card I already had four of. All right. Uh, 